This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. I'm uh, at Tony's house, so I'm going to do the, the question from here, from the bed. <laughs> okay, the topic is living at goal. <clears throat> I know I just did that. I know I, I just didn't do that, right? Sorry. How do you stay on track, living in maintenance, and at goal? If you have not met your goal, what are the keys to your continued success and staying on track? Okay. Um, I've spoken about this several times, and I believe that, you know, it's going to be a life maintenance. Simple, right? You still measure, you still, you know... Uh, portion control, you still, um, everything your doctor advised you to do, you still do it. And I have answered this question, you know, on my channel many times. And because people ask, and this is, this is a very good topic. And um, I'm coming into a different me now. There is a... Um, you know, at, at the beginning, you're trying to lose that weight, right? And then for us that are slow losers, it becomes a challenge every year. It becomes like, don't give up, Rosemary. Don't give up. And I'm speaking of myself, okay? Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And um, I've had to... There's been bumps in the road, you know, with my menopause. And uh, my body uh, is holding on to a lot of things. And... Um, so, I've had to look at myself in a different way now. I saw myself as, <clears throat> you know, many times I've seen myself still at 487 pounds without even realizing, Rosemary, look at all your accomplishment. Are you stopping to embrace everything that you've done? And so I've learned to do a few things that have helped me along the way, and I, I want to express that today. And uh, I wrote them down on my phone last night when I read the question. I'm just going to read them to you real fast. And then I'm going to explain to you. I have learned to accept myself. And that took me some mirror talking time. And what I, want, what I mean by that is it took me some time to look and really look. Not just look and and criticize. I do that a lot. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Where I stop and I look at my body. And I begin to speak words of positive to it. And not kill it with, you know, look at you. Look at this. Look at that. You know what I'm talking about, right? And instead of bringing it trash, I begin to bring it flowers. And right now I've got the window open and I can hear the birds and I, I begin to sing to it. All the things that I don't like about my body. You know, the roll that happens when you lose weight, the extra um, baggage that I carry on my hips. I can't do anything about it. So I'm learning to embrace it and love it. And yesterday I put up a video of me saying to me, I am free. I am learning to be free of obesity. And I had my hands out like this. And I had to stop and rejoice in me. You know, too many of us are so killing our, our souls with that trash of words of hate. I hate this about me. I hate that about me. Begin to bring life to your, to your body. And in maintenance, that's going to have to happen because you're not going to be left with a perfect body. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Uh, so I've had to do some talking time in the mirror. Good talking time. You don't have to like everything about you. Just learn to embrace you. Um, 
first of all, you might want to ask me if I'm at goal. I'm 160 pounds. I'm at a comfortable weight, but I am not at my goal, my head goal. My head goal is to be 130. Uh, I am 4'9". I have been, uh, you know, too many times to the doctor to know that I am I am 4'9". Whether anybody likes to hear that or not, that's just, you know, y'all's opinion. <laughs> Some people say, you're not that short. I, I'm that short. Anyway, um, so 130 to me is, is a good number. It may not be the perfect number, but it's a good number for me. And uh, I still plan to get there. If I didn't get there tomorrow, you know, whatever. Uh, following my doctor's advice, I've talked about that, without judging myself if I was not perfect or spot on all the time. There is moments of judgment. You judge yourself. You tell yourself, you know, I don't know, things you probably ate and you shouldn't have eaten. You need to learn to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself completely so that you can go on completely. Because if you're constantly judging yourself and hurting yourself, I mean, I've heard it over and over in this community. We need to love ourselves enough to forgive ourselves and go on. Because it's important. Um, okay. Embracing the new me without fear I was going to ever see the old obese me. That was a tough one to do. I have learned to embrace myself without thinking that if I did something or ate something or didn't do enough exercise that I was going to see uh, the 487 person come back. That doesn't happen overnight. So I had to learn to embrace the new me. The me that I see every day in the mirror. The me that I travel with. The me that uh, puts on the, the size uh, 10, 12 jeans right now. I have a few eights that I can still wear. And it's amazing. And that's what I need to embrace. Um... And to always live knowing there is always room for improvement. <laughs> to always keep working on the whole me. The whole me. The healthy me. Body, spirit, and mind me. It's not just about looking good. That's part of it. But the first part of it was me trying to be healthy. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to take diabetes medicine anymore. And uh, they had already told me I was going to need high blood pressure medicine uh, eventually. Uh, I was hoping I wasn't going to get to that. Uh, sleeping on so many pillows. I didn't sleep apnea, you know. Um, just so many comorbidities that I didn't want anymore in my life. Arthritis. Bone-on-bone uh, -bone knee issues that I have. So many things, you know. Um, the fact that I can still go upstairs and downstairs is a blessing to me. They, don't, I don't go down, you know, ding, 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 ding. No, I go down like I take the handle and I walk one step at a time. And that's how you got to live your life, one step at a time. I take that, that going up the stairs and call it a blessing. I could at least walk the stairs. I'm not having to do it anything, you know, different right now. Uh, I've been on bone on bone for many years and I can still walk. And that is a thumbs up. Um, I'm going through some non-scale victories that are amazing right now. Um, I know you've heard uh, me talk about them already. Someone just whisked me off the train the other day. How amazing is that? Um, and then said I was lighter than a feather. I was like, really? <laughs> uh, 
Um, so I'm at 10 minutes, guys. Thank you so much for listening. And, uh, you know, we need to work our toll. It's a daily thing. It's about living our lives, enjoying our lives, and learning how to embrace us. Embrace who you have become, you know? Do I wish I had smaller hips? Of course I do. But I'm learning to embrace them every day and say, Rosemary, look at how far you have come. That's an amazing progress. I love you guys. And I'll be back next Sunday. Be all that you can be. Bye.